Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, we would like to show you how to provide more options instead of just a simply close when the user click on the close button on the user form. Let's press it to developer tab and click on Visual Basic. Select the user form and double click. Double click on any part of the editable area of the user form. Instead of using the click procedure, we should change to clearly close. Delete if needed. And we can now type the instructions here. To check if the user click on the close button on the user form, we should write a condition using the close mode variable. If you want to check whether the close button is click, we should set equal to zero. If this is the case, then and we can now provide the options. I'm going to use the message box to provide the options. Firstly, give any instruction or any description. For example, if we want to check whether the user want to save, remember this must be in terms of string. So together with the quotation marks, comma, the combination of buttons that we need. Scroll and select the desired combination, for example, yes, no, and cancel. Comma, title, also in terms of string, if any otherwise close bracket and i'm going to set this as another dummy let's say a so that the option selected will be recorded in a and we can create condition based on the variable a since we have three options which means that we could have at least two conditions let's set the condition firstly i'm going to check that there the user selected yes so we have if a is equal to vb yes then i should save the workbook so we can type ft workbook dot save once it's already saved i'm going to close the user form so we can use unload me or unload the user form which is user form one to ensure that we are able to notice this condition i'm going to use another message box saying that the book is already saved let's move on to the second condition which means that if not yes maybe no so we can have else if a is equal to vb no for this case then we should not save the workbook since it's not safe so which means that we can proceed to the following actions there are close the user form and telling the user is not saved lastly when the cancel selected so i'm going to use else we should bear in mind that when cancel selected which means that we should back to the previous last step where the user stopped that is, the user form remain open. If we did not do anything here, which means that the user form will close directly since the close button is clicked. To ensure that the user form is not closed, we should cancel it. That is, we set cancel equal to any integer other than zero. And now we can end the condition. Since we start with if, of course we need to end with if. Another start with if, another end with if. And we should have done the QD part. Let's see the result. Click on the user form. Click on the close button. Three options provided for whether want to save or not. We have yes, so it's already saved. How if let's say we select for no, it's not saved. And lastly, how if the user click on cancel, the user form will still be there, as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a like this. See you.